Hey guys, I'm back here at DIYDB, Do It Yourself by Dan B. And today, pag-uusapan natin on how to connect an external hard drive to your router so that you can access your files from it wirelessly over your local area network. So if you guys are ready, let's get it on. Hey guys, this is our Linksys router and this is actually a, uh, an EA8100 um, series. So right here at the back, um, you see uh, several Ethernet ports, okay, and there's this Ethernet internet port that connects to our um, provider, and of course, um, it's a 12 volt powered uh, DC, okay, and uh, over here, you get a USB slot, so this is where we're going to connect our one terabyte um, hard drive and uh, that hard drive will be our kind of like our uh, network access storage device that is shared within our local area network wirelessly so yeah hey guys so this is the hard drive that we're gonna connect to our Linksys router wireless router and this is the very same hard drive that we talk in our video so if you happen to miss that video just click on this link right here and uh, you'll, you'll see exactly what we talk about regarding this hard drive but just to give you a, uh, a short background this hard drive now is actually as you can see it's a bit exposed it kind of like a drill up a little bit here on the enclosure uh, and the reason for that is because in, 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 in those hard drive that we have they have a SATA and then they got a USB bridge on top which uh, allows us to connect it to our uh, laptops by a USB but since you know um, the pin of that US, uh, USB uh, bridge just got messed up so I just need to take it out and just you know settle with, with the SATA um, pins right here and I got this new cable about a, a day ago yesterday actually I got this around two dollars and this is a SATA to USB cable so by just drilling this hole a little bit here okay it, you know the cut is not perfect but it's it seems to be working okay I should be able to connect my uh, my cable right here and be able to use this uh, by uh, the USB connection so so yeah so this is the same hard drive okay uh, that we're gonna connect to our Linksys router and will be acting as our network attached storage device all right so now I got my hard disk connected at the back of my Linksys router and this is by the USB slot right here okay so if you look closer here that's the USB port where the hard disk is connected so now that we are done with the physical settings, I'm just going to go and uh, start configuring uh, some of the settings that I need to do on my router or interface so that we can access the hard disk uh, wirelessly within our local air network or can be by uh, you know, FTP or the file transfer protocol as well. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm back here. Um, the next thing I want to do is to be able to access my wireless router web interface. So I need to get to the IP address of that router so that I can access it via the web interface. So the first question here is that, what is the IP address? So if you don't know the IP address of your router, and remember, when you set up your router, uh, your wireless router is actually connected to your uh, internet provider, right? So there's a inter internet connection from your provider okay going to your wireless router so most of the time it's a wired connection and from your wireless router itself you have to set up an IP so that you should be able to manage it and part of the management that we're talking about here is to be able to um, assign the hard drive that we connected to our wireless router so first things first how do we know the IP address of our router okay if you have been Done the setup or if you're not the one who did the setup the what you can do here is just go to command line and from command line you can run an IP config and based on this wireless LAN adapter uh, 
interface, you should be able to see a default gateway. I'm looking on the wireless LAN adapter because this you know, laptop that I'm using right now is connected to my wireless network. So um, look closely here on the default gateway and this IP address that you're seeing here under the default gateway is actually the IP address of your router. So let's go and launch a web browser here. In this, in this case, it's a Google Chrome and I'm just gonna type in 192.168.11, hit enter, and that should bring me up to my Linksys uh, smart Wi-Fi router interface, okay? So here, uh, there will be a password. Again, if you don't know the password, you can actually um, get in here to click, and that will ask you for your email address and password that you use when you set up this, uh, this interface. If you haven't set it up, you can create an account here, okay? Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to go through and click on the local access. And of course, I want to type in my password. And that should bring me up to the actual uh, UI or the user interface. Okay. And again, if you guys are not using Linsys, you, prob you probably are using different router, right? And so that's fine. Um, what you will realize here is that there will be a, lot, a bunch of uh, settings here, okay? The interface, if you're uh, using a non linksys might be different from this. But what we need to do here is that we have to go and look for the external storage. This is what you want to set up, our access to the external hard drive, okay? And again, if you're using a different wireless interface or wireless router interface, it might be, the screen might be different, but, uh, you should be able to look for an external storage option where we should be able to set up our hard drive. So I just connect on that, okay? And then I'll just go to the folder access, okay? And for the folder access, I'm just gonna hit on, okay? To make sure that the particular um, storage is available wirelessly for other users, okay? So if you go here back on the status, let me just cancel this uh, real quick here and let's go back to the status. Uh, no. This that you are seeing right now is the Seagate expansion hard drive. So it has a one terabyte disk capacity and right now we're already consumed uh, 2 uh, GB or gigabits. So we still have around 700 plus. So now what we need to do is to be able to allow access to that by going to the folder access and enabling this on to from off to on, okay? And here you can create different users, okay? Uh, but I already have some users here, but you can select, you know, create your user. So let's say I wanna create new user. I'll put in here, let's say, uh, this is a guest, one, two, three, okay? And the password, it's let's say guest, okay? All lowercase. I can set permission like read and write, or I can limit it to read only, meaning, uh, that particular user can only read my files, but he cannot, or she, she or he cannot, you know, using this user account, they, uh, she or he cannot access or rather write files to that storage, okay? So let's say read only, and then let's add this user, okay? So that's it. Now, uh, once we're done with this, of course, we have to apply the settings and then it, will write back to the interface and that should allow us to access the router, um, the external hard drive. One of the cool things here is that it has an option for FTP server. So this is again, uh, this is available for Linksys. I'm not sure if this is something possible with other wireless router, but what the FTP server does is that you can also enable this, okay? And then once you enable this or turn this on, okay? you can actually assign a port for your FTP. Okay, let's say I wanna, I wanna use uh, one, two, three as my port for my FTP. And just, just hit apply, okay? So what FTP means is that if it, it is a file transfer protocol, so, so meaning that even if you are away from your local area network, 
using a WAN, a wireless uh, wide area network, you should be able to access your files via FTP server. And you don't need to set up an independent FTP server because this router facilitates that connection for you. So pretty cool, huh? So now that we are done here, um, we can actually sign out, okay? Give me a second here. We can actually sign out from here. And uh, the next thing you wanna do is to be able to access my files, right? So if I go right click here, okay? So let's say this is the folder and I wanna, I wanna access the shared storage, okay? Um, it says here that the storage is 192.168.11. And again, this is given to us by our wireless interface, which we have seen earlier. So I just hit on that, and that will allow me to access the files, right? So these files that you are seeing right now are actually the external hard drive, the Seagate hard drive that we connected to the wireless interface. So uh, I can actually map this out, okay? So that it will always be available to my, um, to my computer. So now that I have it mapped through my machine here, uh, this facilitates an easier access to my hard drive, okay? So let's say I wanna just bring this up again. I can just go to my hard disk and I should be able to access this. The beauty of this one is that it doesn't, um, it actually gives you a way to kind of have a direct access to your files wirelessly. And even if you're using your handphone, you know, uh, remember uh, over time, your handphone gets a lot of data, like pictures, videos. You're using your handphone, you, can, you should be able to access this uh, shared storage here, uh, kind of like a network attached uh, storage, and be able to throw in some of those files from your phone locally to this hard drive so that, you know, uh, it gives you more flexibility, it frees up a lot of storage on your phone, and as well as on your local uh, hard drive of your laptop as well. So this is kind of really cool. And apart from that, again, I mentioned about the FTP settings. FTP settings is something that will allow you to access your, your external hard drive away from outside of your local area network. So, so that's about it for me. If you guys like this video, please uh, thumbs up and consider subscribing as well. Till next time, have a good day.